Welcome to another video from DIY Daily. Just got a full step-by-step -step guide today showing you how to fit some new new rear leaf springs to this 2004 Mitsubishi L200. And we've got some new springs here. And we've got all new U-bolts and bushes as well to fit. And if you check out the description below, I put links to where you can get all the bits from and all the tools used as well. So. Obviously we're using a two poster ramp today, it does make the job a little bit easier, but not too bad to do on the floor. Um, but if I was doing it on the floor, I'd do it slightly different. Uh, I'll just run you through it, but all we'd do um, on the ramp, obviously we'll put it up in the air and put some stands underneath the axle uh, as we drop it down. But if I was going to do it on the floor, I'd basically put some jacks under the sills, sort of slacken it, get all the bolts out at this level and then actually jack the back up and lift the body off the springs and do it that way rather than lifting the car up and dropping it down. So, um, But there's a few different ways you can do it. Um, just for now, we'll get it up in the air and then uh, run you through it. Uh, so now that we've got it up in the air, you can just see the leaf springs a lot clearer now. Um, basically what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put two uh, the vertical jacks, one underneath either side of the axle, just to support the weight of that as we drop everything off. Uh, but we've got the new, shackle plates there which is basically this part on the pivoting bit at the back of the spring so all, we're gonna, all i'm going to do now is just i mean the, there's a good chance all these bolts are going to be mega tight i'll try and get them off some of them don't come off i might have to just cut them out of the grinder and knock them through um, but we've got all new bushes for in the uh, in the spring in the uh, in the top piece there and in the spring so and um, we'll just get them out we want the shockers unbolting at the bottom there which is this bolt there we we'll get that off and um, we've got the four nuts to get off for the clamps for the leaf springs there and then at the front we've just got the one bolt there as well now before you have a go at getting any of them off you really want to be giving them a good spray with some uh, penetrating oil give them all a good scrub with a wire brush and just give it a chance to soak in you have half a chance of getting them off so just something to be aware of some of them see this one here has got a little clip on there with a the wire on it as well so anything like that or the handbrake cable bracket there as well. You just want to be making sure that you undo the, the bracket for that as well. Uh, well. Let's just get the jacks underneath there. Just give it a little bit of a jack up just to take the weight and then we'll uh, set to getting that off. Um, but yeah, if you weren't doing it on the ramp, the best thing you really want to be doing is just have it on the floor. Just sit your jacks underneath the, um, just roughly where I've got the jack there on the chassis. So you're not touching any suspension bits and then just unbolt everything and as, when it's one, once it's loose just start jacking the body up and actually jack the body up off the springs that's the best way to do it if you're doing it on the ground so um, but i'll give all these a good clean up now and start getting all these bolts off should need a 17mm socket for your top bolts there, the front and rear, and you want a 13mm socket for your shocker bolts there. So all you want to do though, they'll, be, they'll always be quite rusty and tight, so you really want to get your socket, give it a good knock on with a hammer, again, just to give yourself the best chance of getting them off. So. Um, worst case, if these are mega tight, I mean, I'm going to try with a buzz gun, but might end up having to put, put a bit of heat on it, just get it red out, get it nice and glowing, and then crack it off, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Just for the front one, I'm going to want a 22mm socket and you can get uh, on the outside, you've got the bolt there as well so you might need to put a spanner on that one while you crack it off.
Nice. So we've got all the nuts off now, both sides. The only one we've had a bit of a problem with, this shocker here has just sheared off, it was seized on, so we're going to have to sort that out because it's not a bolt, we didn't actually see anything on the other side, so um, we'll sort that out once the shocker's off, um, we'll run through that a bit later on. Um, but I've just put the jacks underneath it now, just to support the weight of the axle. Next thing we're going to do, just going to bash, well, give all these bolts a good bash through, try and get them out that way. The exhaust might be in the way a little bit on this side, don't that move. And then we'll get these, um, you've got 21mm socket for the nuts on the U-bolt clamps, get all them off. We'll see if we can just lift the axle off the springs then and get the springs down. Just that front nut, just on that side, a bit of a problem, it was really tight. So to use one of these little map gas burners, pretty handy for tight spaces where it's a bit awkward to get the acetylene in. Uh, if you just see, just up on that side, the handbrake cable was here, so I had to be a bit careful as well. So I was only just heating it on the bottom section of the nut there, just so I didn't burn this cable. So got a little bit of heat on there. And they got it out but yeah i'll put a link in the description below to one of these burners because they're pretty handy just for uh, just for getting in sometimes so uh, but i'll just give all these bolts a rattle out now and then move on to the next step Right, so we've got all four nuts out from either side now. You just see we had to get heat on every single one. Uh, the gun won't touch it without. So now that we've done that, all we're going to do is just pry the shockers away from the studs there. This one's a little bit short where it snapped off. And like that, we should be able to just lower the leaf springs out and drop them down one at a time. Um, we'll undo the back side of this and drop it down and then uh, get the front one out and just pull them out on either side now. So that's both leaf springs off there. All we're going to do with that off, just give everything a bit of a clean up. We've got to get the, um, we've got to knock this shackle fully out. We'll just get the bushes out of there. Give everything a bit of a clean up, just all around where the springs sit as well. And um, we've just got to sort this bracket out. So this is the uh, shaft piece where the shocker sits on. And this is like a tube around the outside of a thread there. So, oh, but it don't go right through to the other side. So all we're going to do is get some heat on there. Just get this tube off hopefully um, and I'll cut that flush, drill through in the centre, hopefully we'll be able to put a bolt through the back that's long enough uh, and just weld it on around the back so, so it doesn't matter, just being slightly proud on the inside so we'll just run you through repairing that shock amount now.
All right, we've gone to plan B. It's actually all one piece and sometimes they're like a sleeve over the top, but it's actually one solid piece. So luckily we've got a bit of tube here. It's about bang on the same size. So all we'll do is same plan, but we're just going to cut a bit of this tube to use for that uh, spacer for the uh, sort of bush for the shopper. So. So there's a little repair done on that bracket there as you see it's just a bolt welded straight through put the bit of sleeving on there put the washer on the bottom obviously we've got another washer on the top and then we'll just put a nut on there so made a quick fix to that you can buy these separately i'll try and find a link and um, try and find one and put a link in the description below to it so uh, but that's uh, got us out of trouble tonight so Right, just while that uh, bracket was being uh, repaired, just started on this side. Basically, just got the bushes in there, the hangers um, mounted up, and just put all the U bolts. Just just cleaned up where they sit, just sat them round. Just simply just put the uh, the bolts just through ready. Obviously, I'll take them out in a minute. And I've just left this side, not done at the minute, just to show you popping the bushes in. Uh, but it's a really straightforward job. Basically, to start with on the leaf spring, they come with one bush already in one side. Uh, but basically we've got the new bushes here we've got some polyurethane grease to actually come with them so uh, but all we need to do is put the grease on there we're we'll knock the bushes in in uh, in the leaf spring they push in really easy easily to be fair we'll push wash push one in this side one in the other side and we're just going to simply knock the shorter tube in uh, and then i'll run you through um doing the one on the actual car so just knock that in quick first So now that we've done the right on that side, we're just going to do the uh, the one on the car now. Basically, we'll knock that uh, knock that in either side. They're a little bit tighter on the car. Again, put some of the polyurethane grease on there, and then we're going to knock the pin through. But when you knock the pin through on the car side, it tends to push the bush out from the other side a little bit. So you might find um, if it does, all we'll do is I'll just run you through it after. But we we'll just put the shackle in and just pull it together with a bolt just to sort that out. So. Just see there, just as, as I was knocking the tube in, it's just started to push that side out. But uh, all you need to do, when you put your shackle clamps on, just bolt that up, it just pulls it in. So. Just see now let's just pull that in and you, you just want to back it off and leave all these floating while you get everything mounted up and once it's mounted up in place that's when you want to be nipping everything up so um, but we'll get the springs mounted on now 
put the shockers over, give all the bolt threads a decent bit of copper grease on them and I can just run around nipping everything up. Um, you see, we're not uh, too far off finishing the job now. It's not too bad a job to do at all really, so I thought I'd share the video with you all, see if it helps anyone having a go at this. Uh, let's get these springs in now and get everything back together. Now that the springs are on, one thing you've just got to be careful of, you've just got a little locating hole in the centre of the spring and you want to be lining that up. I'll just try and show you, it's a little bit tricky to see it, but there's a there's a hole in the middle on that pad on the axle there and that's where you want to be located it into. That's all I'm going to do now. Obviously if you was on the floor, you'd be lowering the car onto it. I'm just going to jack it up with the jacks and just locate them in. And then once, the, once we're there, we can just nip up the bolts. Now one thing you need to do, just be quite careful of, once you put the plate on underneath, um, you need to make sure you put the spring washers on it. It's an MOT fail without any spring washers on there. So. so just simply drop that in there, and just so it's landed nicely in place, it's nice and solid there. And we put the brackets on, clamp it up, can't physically move at all over the leaf spring as well. So, um, but just run them up now. All four bolts either side aren't quite, not that have to be mega tight, but they do work good nips. The U-bolts that uh, a lot of U-bolts that come with these are quite universal ones. So generally, you have to nip them up and then just cut them off a bit flusher. So, um, but just as you're running them up, you just want to try and do them quite evenly, and you do need to make sure the centre just pulls in over that centre bolt there with a nut on it. So, um, but then just go around. I've done them all with a the buzz gun there. I like to just give them a quick nip by hand after, just to make sure they're right. But uh, just nip them up now. Put the shocker on, put the washer on, and then just cut them off with the grinder after. And once they're bolted up, then we'll go on to do the rear and the front. So we'll probably just wait till I've done both sides first. Then. Right, so that's everything all finished now. All nice and nipped up there, just put some copper grease on it as well. Um, no, I've just got that last job to do, I'm just going to whip them off of the grinder, then we can drop it down. And just had to put some new bolts in for the uh, wiring connector there, and uh, just for the handbrake as well. So the old ones just uh, just snapped straight off. So you can see where we've done the repair on the shocker, it's nicely sorted that out. So um, yeah, hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a quick thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I'm just going to uh, cut them off now, drop it back down, and that's the job done. Now, thanks for watching, and see you next time.